This is John Neese, and uh, this is the Soda Pop Stop. This is Galco Soda Pop Stop. Right now, we have about 700 different kinds of sodas. We have 700 different kinds of beers. We have everything you can't find, and some things you'll just look at and say, I didn't even know they were made. This is actually a cucumber soda. And this, this one started here, and it became Soda of the Year in 2010. It's wonderful. This one right here, it's, a, it's an ouzon, and it's, an, it's a licorice-flavored soda. I, didn't, I don't like licorice, and I taste it, and I went, oh my goodness. Uh, we were in an Italian grocery store, and the neighborhood was changing. And then at about that same time, the um, supermarket chains bought the distribution channel for the little markets and closed them down. We were being put out of business. And it wasn't nice the way they were doing it. And I started thinking about it and I said, you know what? You should be happy that Pepsi Cola doesn't own your shelf space and you can sell anything you want. So I went out and found 25 little brands of soda, put them on the shelf. And what you find out is that other little people in business, they're still out there. You're in glass bottles, you're using real ingredients, you're using cane sugar. I mean, what more can people ask for? You said uh, cane sugar in there. Oh, oh, you want to know about the United States and our <laughs> corn syrup? Beware. I mean, you want to go to the supermarket, you can pick up frozen foods, you can pick up candy. It doesn't matter what it is. You can pick up a loaf of bread and it'll have corn syrup in it. We didn't have it in there 25 years ago. Everything you do has corn syrup in it. Why? This was the first soda put in a bottle. It was actually sold as a, as a tonic just to to calm your stomach. If you try to drink it like most people drink a soda today, you're gonna get carbonated cough medicine. But if you sip it, you may get a cola, root beer, cinnamon, vanilla, licorice, black cherry flavor. You might get one, you might get four or five different flavors. These come from the Republic of Georgia. Yeah. This is actually made from naturally carbonated water. They don't use a machine. It bubbles out of the ground that way. When I graduated from college and I decided I wanted to go in the grocery business. And, and my father said, you're gonna to go to work for a big company? I said, no, Pop, I wanna come in here because every day is different. He just shook his head, he says, you know, you're going to make a living, that's all you're gonna make, and you're a damn fool, go to work for the big company and get paid to do it. And I just, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> that was important, I mean, it's important. You gotta be happy with what you do if you're not happy with what you do. We're doing it all for the wrong reason. Thank you very much to John Neese and the staff at the Soda Pop Stop. They are on York Boulevard and Highland Park, Los Angeles, and a link to their site is in the description. And my apologies for the dodgy camera work. It was just me and my GoPro, but there was no way I was going to pass up a visit to something as wonderful and offbeat as this.